Final Fantasy 1. I have a lot of great memories with Final Fantasy. I love JRPGs. I love RPGs in general. And just a lot of great memories around this series. As a kid, as a teenager, as an adult. Now, I love this series. I mostly played Final Fantasy 2 slash 4 and Final Fantasy 3 slash 6 when I was a kid. Those are the first games that introduced me to the genre. And man, oh man, I was blown away by the story, the characters, the magic, the gameplay, the music. And I just, man, love those games. Now, this game, on the other hand, um, well, uh, we're going to have a talk. We're going to have a talk. Now, this particular version, yes, it's classic. Yes, it was a great game back in the day. But there's better ways to play this than on the NES Classic or on the NES. And you can find this game pretty much anywhere. The PSP version is excellent. The PlayStation version is okay. There's a lot of load times. But my favorite version is the Game Boy Advance. It actually comes packed with Final Fantasy 2. And it's a lot of fun. It's so user friendly. It's quick. The battle is fun. The battle system, and you're going to have a ton of fun with it. And it's fairly cheap. Donna Souls. You'll enjoy it. Now, people don't really like Final Fantasy 2. They say it's the black sheep of the franchise, and I agree. But for some weird reason, I love Final Fantasy 2. Now, I do plan on doing a comparison at some point, some video, where I compare the original with ports and let you guys know which one is the best and I kind of already spoiled it for you guys but anyway let's talk about Final Fantasy well this is not the best version to play because it's so slow the battle system is so slow and clunky okay I get it it was a classic back then it started the franchise you gotta start somewhere but they were riding off the coattails of Dragon Quest, Dragon Warrior here in the United States. And, man, it's just tough to play. I could not imagine actually playing through this game completely on the NES or the NES Classic Edition. There is a ton of grinding. So you have four classes that you can choose from. And each character has their strengths and weaknesses. And I usually like to go with two fighters. Not this group you see here. Two fighters. A, a white mage and a black mage. Sometimes a red mage, just depending on how I'm feeling. But usually that's the group I like to go with. Now as you level up, your classes will actually advance. Okay, and your characters will get stronger and stronger. And there is a ton, I mean a ton, of grinding like I said. It's insane how much you will spend in this little screen. Okay, these two little boxes and where the enemies are at. And it's just so slow. And let's say you kill an enemy and you already select that enemy to attack, well... It's just going to miss automatically. You're just making the battle drag on and on and on. So let's talk about the story a little bit. You are the four warriors of light. And you have to restore the four orbs in this game. Okay, You have to restore them and just save the world from Garland. Now Garland is a time traveler. And there is time travel involved in this game. And it actually has a pretty cool little story. Not a huge narrative like, you know, newer Final Fantasies. But there is a story. There is a story. And you'll enjoy it. If you play it on the Game Boy Advance, you will love it. If you play it on the PSP, you will love it. And just like I said, all you do is battle. You level up. You go into towns. You buy new items with the money you earn in battle. You can also buy new spells, white 
and black magic and just just keep grinding 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 and that's not a bad thing I actually like to grind I grind a lot in games I learned that early in JRPGs and there's actually like newer games now where you don't have to grind but I go and grind anyway just because that's what I've always done let's talk about the music the mechanics and the graphics so the music is classic you're gonna hear the classic Final Fantasy jingle after you win a victory the fanfare after you win a battle and it's phenomenal uh, you're gonna love the overworld music you're gonna love the town music you're gonna love it all and the graphics eh, eh, they're okay maybe I'm spoiled with, with the Game Boy Advance version I'm sorry maybe I'm just spoiled in general with these gorgeous graphics that we have now but they're okay now these battle scenes I'm not a big fan of those okay it, there could have been some more detail than just a black screen with two boxes it gets old it gets old quick and the controls I mean it's pretty easy easy to figure out it's not difficult it's just being able to navigate those menus and you know equipping your your party and equipping all the spells and everything it's just gonna take a little while to get used to but other than that it's not difficult at all and guys this I don't know it I love Final Fantasy and I get it you got to respect the classics you got to respect what came before everything else I get it I understand it I just cannot imagine playing this I just cannot imagine playing this today on the NES knock yourself out if you want to and get the full true experience but I'm gonna tell you it's it's gonna be rough guys it's gonna be rough you can play much better RPGs out there and you know and less the time <laughs> and I love it I love it I love it I love it now did I play this growing up yes and no I, I played the GBA version, I played the PlayStation version, which the PlayStation version is atrocious by the way, the load times, I can't believe how much load, it, it just takes forever to load whenever you go to the menu, when you get out of the battles, it just takes so long to load, oh. and I did find this game eventually on the NES in high school. And that's at the time when I was still really, really in love with Final Fantasy VII. And I tried playing through this. I tried playing it, and man, I just could not. I could not put myself through it. It's rough. Now, does this game belong on the NES Classic Edition? Yes and no. More out of a curiosity standpoint, if you're a fan of RPGs, if you're a fan of Final Fantasy and you've never played the true Final Fantasy 1 game, then I would say yes. There are better RPGs out there on the NES. I mean, I would have included Dragon Warrior 4 or 3. I mean, even 1 maybe. 1's a little bit clunky too. But there are better ones out there just just because this is kind of a broke down game really if you played other versions uh, let me know what you guys think of this game the original version I love 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 the updated versions and this one's just it's hard to swallow it is so hard to swallow and did you guys play this growing up what's your favorite Final Fantasy of all time and where does this one rank up on your list? Guys, if you haven't subscribed to me, please do so. That's going to put you in the running for an NES Classic Edition that I'm giving away at the end of the month. And all you have to do is subscribe. Subscribe to me. And I'm also giving away some Sega Genesis stuff. The Sega Genesis Classics on the PlayStation 4. And the collection that's on the PlayStation 3. 
Again, just subscribe to me. Hope you guys have been enjoying these reviews. And guys, thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of this footage. And as always, have a great rest of your day.